this video, we will talk about how to get the whole line from the user input and how to work with the character and the string object. So the first thing I want you to download chapter three example 10 and run your program from the IDE. This one, they will ask you for your name and where the city you live. But one thing is, supposedly, you, I will want you to try two different ways. Even they ask you for your name, right? Um, so the first one, I want you to use the only one word to get your name in the city. So then, after you're done, see that correct or wrong. So then you can, at the end, the second time I want you to approach, you're just using multiple words for each. We see what happens. Okay, so download this one and also post the video because next text I will show you how my and how I will run. Okay, so that's from my IDE on Cloud9. That's example 10. I just run first and we we'll see what's going on. So the first one I want you to only add So then the city, you just say. So the first trial, I want you to use both your name and the city, only one word. Okay, so then we see, right. So they say, hi, hello, Laura, you live in Kaohsiung. Okay, but now we try again. See, if you have the name, but for supp supposedly your name should be multiple words, right? So then we see if you enter your multiple name, then, uh oh, you see, they finish the program. You even don't have a chance to enter the city you live in. They just right away show, hello, Laura, you live in low. I live in my last name. Okay? So we see what's going on, why this program cannot accept multiple words. So then we go back to see the program itself. Okay? So that's the code. So this program actually try to get user net and city. So we have the string is net and city. In order to use the string, you need to include the string library. So then, right, before we only show you, we only know the C in, C out, right? So that's why we ask the user, uh, what's your name for the C out? So C in will only show you. When you C in, you need to insert into the variable. Okay, so then continue, enter the city you leave, then C in city. So right after you got the name and the city, you say, hello, the name, and you live in the city. Okay, so now actually the problem why earlier we only can put one word. Uh, so that's why we see here, since you still have my old one, right? Okay, when we run the program, okay, my output earlier, okay, if I only enter one word for the name, okay, so then I press enter. Compiler can assign the LoRa to the name correctly. Then enter, I enter my city, city only one word, so I finish. But here the problem is, if user, I ask user to enter your name, but here user enter first name and last name. We need to know when we do the C in, right? So we read the C in from the keyboard. The keyboard will automatically use any space to separate the input. So that's why earlier when I enter Laura space low, actually this space already break my input. So this one actually is my first input. Then this one become my second input. Did you remember our other example we show you? Please use uh, we ask the user to enter the length and the width for the rectangle, right? So we ask the user please using the space to separate your length and the width. So that's the reason, uh, because anytime when you type in the keyboard, the keyboard, they will automatically using any space or new line or the tab to separate user input. So that's why when you do only C in here, right? Then you see you only read Laura. Oh, then you say, oh, how about we just have the C in, then we do two times. Okay, so then we do the C in and see in but we cannot really know how user will enter their name sometimes people will do the first name middle name last name okay so that's why 
it's very difficult to know how many um, words user will enter. So in this situation, you don't know how many words user will enter, right? We don't do the C in. We don't use C in. Okay. So instead here, that's what I want to show you. I comment out. Okay. So this one actually, instead we use C in. We show you another function we call get line. So the get line actually they have two parameters. The first parameter you say I get from C in. Then I read the whole line to the variable I assign. So that's why the get line means what? The get line means every time I use a get line, I will wait until user enter, press the enter. Then we will read the whole line. Okay. So then after what you see here, the same thing. I don't do C in CT. Okay. I using get line. So the same thing. Get line means I want to read the whole line from the user input because I put the C in here. Then I save in the CT. So now after you make this two change, right? Okay. So now we can run the program again. Then you will see here because I using C in. After I enter lower and low, so then we use the get line to read from C in. So you see here, they using so that's why they save the whole line into the net. So now you can see enter the CTU live with. Uh, so we leave. Okay. Uh, so now you see the same thing. The CT use the get line. So that's why you see they can read the whole thing. So that's why they say hello, Laura, living present here. Okay. So that's the get line we talk about. So that's why I want you to make the change, for example, 10 using get line. So that's why you will get the correct output. Otherwise, they will be wrong. So that's the reason. Uh, when you use a C in with the greater, greater extraction operator to input string, they will sometimes cause a problem. Uh, one thing is, when you enter any white space, they can be spaces, can be tab or new line or line break. Uh, the new line actually means the line breaks. We call that the white space character. They will make this one as a delimiter to break your input. So to work around this problem, a lot of time we know, we don't know user how many words they will enter. We will just do the get line. Because after user done, they will press enter. Whenever you use the get line function, you have two arguments to pass. The first one is your input string. So for now, we only learn C in. So you always put the C in for the console input. So then the second one is your string variable. Then in the future, uh, we are not only use the C in. Uh, in the future, when we're using the file input, so then we can change. But for now, we only learn C in. So after we talk about the get line, we will just, um, when we see the enter, we will read the whole line. But sometimes also we need one thing is, we just want to enter. Uh, for example, you can see a program say, you can enter any key to continue. But if you do this one, right? If you do the any key, you have the any character is okay. But if you put any space or break, they won't put that into the character. Instead, we need to use the cin.get. So here, cin.get, you can have the variable or not variable. The most important thing when we use the cin.get, we will get anything from the user input, including the enter. So that's why you can try this one. Okay, so this one actually just show you when you have program post, or you ask the user to enter, press enter to continue, you have to use the scene get, or assign that to the ch, or just using the scene get. For those different ways, they all can process the enter. So earlier we say when you're using the scene get, they will get any character from the user input. So that's including the enter or space or break. But one thing we will show you that an error will happen from example 12. So I want you to run example 12. We see from example 12, 
what we have is we ask the user to enter two numbers. Then first number, second number. Then we ask the user to enter a character. So we're using the seeing get. So then you see here, uh, then you run. Okay, so we had the first number. Then second number. Then you find out, actually we don't have a chance to enter the character. So then we already finish. So the reason is seeing get, we need to be careful how you want to use the seeing get. Seeing get is you only want to catch your enter. But here, after you do your number two, right, they already have the enter in the keyboard buffer. So that's why if you write we're using the seeing.get, then you will have problem. So that's why here you have two different ways. If you have the one character, right? So then you're just using the character. So this one actually we instead we do the seeing get. Okay. So we should just using the seeing. Okay, so we put in the character. So that's why we can display that character. Also we see here again. We put the number. Then we're using the character. Uh, so we both all using the seeing. Then you are fine. Okay. But one thing is if we want to use the seeing get in instead of just pure seeing, then the other way is we need to we can use the seeing ignore. Because seeing get they will get the new line. So then we can just do the ignore. They will ignore the number two, the entry after the number two. Uh, so we see here, for example, you have a number. Okay, so now you see they ignore that enter. So now the seeing get, we can get uh, the character. So that's why we talk about when we use the seeing get, be careful. Sometimes before the seeing get, if you have enter before the seeing get, you need to use the seeing ignore. So the ignore, they can skip the new line character. And seeing ignore actually have very, very important thing is we have the seeing get line. So remember we say now enter the full name. Remember earlier we told, uh, we told you when you want to get user full name, you cannot just use the seeing to the name, right? Instead, actually, we need to use in get line. So then, when we're using the get line, then we have the seeing name. When we enter the full name, we need to use in the get line. Uh, so then we try here. What happened? Uh, I entered the first number, second number, enter. Then you see the full name, I don't have a chance to enter. The reason is the same thing. When you have your get line, right? If before you using the get line, before that, in the keyboard, they have a new line afterward. So you see, after we enter 76, uh, 76 I push the enter. So this enter have nothing else after that. Then when we're using the get line, then the user will read on the String buffer get line actually will read the new line after the number two. So that's why we don't have a chance to enter our full name. So then again, a lot of time when you want to use the get line, right? Before, if you already try to using the input, then the same thing we need to add seeing ignore before your get line. Then you see you run again. Then you have your first number, second number. So then finally you can add. So that's why you see your full name can be entered. Then you can be finished that. Also that's very important for the seeing ignore. A lot of time we just have the seeing ignore before seeing get and the before get line. So we can make sure our input is correct. So at the end I just quickly to talk about the string. So when you have a string right, actually string we have dot length member function. You can know how many characters in that string. And also sometimes if you want to join multiple string, we can just using the addition operator. So that's why if you have string on greeting one and your name, then we can add them together to create a combined string.
in order to combine string also can using the combine assignment output.